Give it up for Mason McLean, everybody. Hey, guys. So, um, seriously, I think this is the first time a movie star has ever been to The Gathering Place. This is a big night. But not only is Macy an incredibly talented artist uh, and actress, and if you haven't seen the movie yet, go watch it. It's, it's an awesome, powerful movie. Um, but speaking and just hanging out with Macy before, uh, before the event tonight, she is a lover of Jesus and just an authentic, real person. Um, so it really is an honor to have you here tonight. So thank you for being here. Oh, man. Guys, it is so cool to be with you tonight. Y'all, what you have here is really special, and it is, it's awesome. So thanks for letting me come. Yeah. Well, why don't you begin by telling us, uh, you know, we saw a snippet of that through the trailer, but uh, tell us about Rachel Scott's life and her story and just a brief summary of what the really the heart behind the movie is. Yeah, so I'm Not Ashamed looks at the life of Rachel Joy Scott, and she was a real person. And most of what you see in the movie was taken straight out of her journals, and I got to sit down and dig through those journals. Um, but it really takes a look at her life up until uh, when she was 17 years old, she was shot. And right before she was shot, um, in the Columbine Massacre, the shooters asked her if she still believed in God. And she looked at them and said, yes, I do. And then they shot her and they killed her. Um, but really, I'm not ashamed. It doesn't just hone in on the shooting, uh, but it really takes a look at her life and the way that she lived her life. And how did she have the kind of faith that when a gun was at her head, she could say, yes, I still believe in God. Um, and even after she died, her, her funeral was broadcasted. Um, on the news and countless people got up and told about the impact that Rachel's life made on their lives and the way that she treated people, um, the way that, sh that she loved people and really the way that Jesus worked through her. So that's what you'll see through I'm Not Ashamed. Uh, that is exactly what I got from watching the movie as well. Um, if you want to check it out, you can stream it on Pure Flix, uh, straight from Pure Flix website, correct? Yeah, you can get Pure Flix. Um, it's at Walmart, Target, Amazon, um, iTunes, Apple, all of that stuff. Awesome. Uh, so give us a behind the scenes. So you're here. We want to know what was it like, you know, leading up to the role, preparing for it, learning all the lines, memorizing that, and just kind of understanding who Rachel was and what her faith was journey was like. Give us a behind the scenes look at that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So I've been an actress since I was 15. So um, I've been in the entertainment business for a while. And, um, but this role, I was, it, it was unlike anything I've ever done. Um, it was a real person and I knew Rachel's story and I knew, um, she was a really, a really special girl in the way that the Lord used her. And I was really intimidated to play this girl. Um, I, I mean, I, I, I was like, Lord, I know you're calling me to do this. I knew the Lord called me to do it, but I, I was scared, honestly. But through the process and leading up to the process, the Lord truly reminded me in so many ways that when he calls you to do something, it doesn't matter how big it is, it doesn't matter how small it is, he will give you everything you need to do it. And that is your confidence going into anything that he calls you to do. It's not your strength, it's him working through you. And all you have to do, you do have to be diligent and do your homework and do your part and work as hard as you can. And I did have to do that. But also, leaning and the dependency on God, that makes all of the difference. And, and that's what he taught Amen. me. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Um, so tell us about uh, maybe one of the most significant things you learned, just learning about Rachel. For, you got access to her journals and, um, and playing the role and thinking about what it was like to be in those moments. What's something that God taught you? What did you take away from it? Oh my goodness, there are so many things I took away from, from stepping into her shoes. Um, but yeah, the, digging through her journals every single night, um, just her, her intimacy with the Lord is, is something um, that stood out to me more than anything. And you look at the impact that Rachel made. You look at, you know, she truly has touched millions of people's lives. Um, but then you, you, you look in her journals and you see how and why. And it was because of this. It was a direct intimacy with the Lord. And anything that he did through her was because she was so seeking him with all of her heart. And so her life was just an overflow of spending time with him and being in his presence and seeking him. She truly did seek him with all of her heart. And she wasn't perfect by any means. She messed up a lot. But um, 
she, she had a heart after, after God's. And um, that, that's something that I took away of, man, you don't know how much time you have. We don't know. James 4.14 says we have a mist of time, that we're only here for a short amount of time. And what are we going to do with that time? And if you want to make an impact, seek the heart of God with everything you have. Amen. Um, I kind of just building off that along the same line. So our theme this summer is the rising built uh, off of Romans 12, which the scripture calls us to not conform, but be transformed to not conform to the world, but be daringly different and unashamed of the gospel. And what a powerful example of that is Rachel Scott's story that she didn't conform in those moments, but instead she was daringly different. Um, how would you encourage tonight's audience and these students here, if there's people here that want to live a daringly different life, how would you challenge them and encourage them tonight? Oh my goodness. Um, I would say your biggest thing is going to be living for an audience of one and not to please anyone else, not to be the most popular. You won't be the most popular if you live a life chasing after God. Jesus says, if you want to follow me, you have to pick up your cross. Tell him, Macy. And, <laughs> and that means that you're going to look drastically different because very few people pick up their cross and follow Jesus. You, you won't look like the world, and you're going to feel different. It's going to be uncomfortable. But having an eternity mindset of eternity is really all that matters, guys. It, it, you can spend so much time building your own kingdom here and being so concerned um, with what you do here, but if all that matters is eternity, um, set that as your focus. And Paul even tells us to, to, run, the ra to run this life as it's, as it's a race. And you know, when you're running a race, you're running to win. And you do everything it takes. You train. You, you do what a runner does to win the race. And, and, and that's what we're called to do as believers of, of setting eternity in front of us. And that's the goal. And we run towards that with everything we have. Um, Amen. That's awesome. Um, all right, last question for you. Um, so Macy is not only an uh, actress, but she's also recently an author. And so you've got a lot of projects going on. You're also working on some new film as well. Yes. Um, why don't you tell us a little about the projects you're working on um, now and the devotional you just recently came out with. Uh, I'm sure they're going to want to hear about that. Yeah, so um, I'm actually about to go film another movie in about two weeks, so I've been doing a lot of preparation for that. Um, I recently did a short film called Vindication 2. It's kind of a mystery, and it's, in, it's like episode two of a series. Um, and another film I did called Because of Gracia is about to come out, and that comes out in th theaters in September. Uh, so those are kind of the newest things I've done, and also a few speaking events. Uh, but after the film... Um, I came out with a devotional called It's Worth It. And throughout the devotional, I talk about the process of stepping into Rachel's shoes and, and what God did in my heart through uh, the experience and, and even my own life, the, the journey that the Lord's brought me on. And um, I, I call it It's Worth It just because um, just the whole concept of, concept of it's worth it to follow him. And and I know you guys can agree with this, but Satan is always trying to distract you. He's always trying to trip you up. He's always trying to show you that something else is better than following Jesus. But it's all a trap, and it's all um, just a distraction and, and derails you from your purpose. But it's worth it to live in the purpose that God has created you for because he wants to do so much in you and through you, and you don't want to miss out on that. Um, so that's kind of what the devotional is about, of kind of an encouragement of how to do that, living fully in your purpose. And yeah, um, I'll have them tonight if you guys want to check it out. That's awesome. Uh, thank you, Macy. Yeah, uh, her devotion, we are going to be selling it uh, in the merch area in the back afterwards, and you're going to be hanging out and yeah. taking pictures and signing books if uh, you guys want to grab a picture with Macy. Uh, can we just thank Macy for being here and give her a GP thank you? Thank you, awesome. guys. Y'all are awesome. Thank you, guys.